An anomalous entity has been reported making rounds around local antique shops and auction houses, leaving a path of tragedy and viscera in its wake. This entity was originally reported on by Trevor Henderson, who instead of relinquishing his anomalous evidence to any foundation, decided it belonged on his Instagram page. A man after my own heart. This entity's head resembles a skull split down the middle to reveal another skull inside. Like one of those little Russian nesting dolls that everyone used to put in their ass. Both skulls have a wicked, almost mischievous smile. Since it has no legs, it stands on a pair of abnormally long arms. This entity, hereby dubbed Bonesworth, was originally found in the demolition site of an abandoned playhouse. It was hidden in a room in the foundation containing old costumes and puppets, so Bonesworth was originally thought to be a puppet. At first, people thought it was just really good craftsmanship, and it just looked a lot like a skeleton. It turns out that the case was, uh, not that. 100% genuine human bone. From multiple different people, too. Confirmed by some antiquer who just thought he bought a weird old puppet. No, no, sir. You just spent antique puppet kind of money, which, for some reason, I bet is a lot of money, for something that is at best to be confiscated for evidence. What's more is, remember that old playhouse where they found Boney over here? Yeah, apparently there were just frequent freak accidents that would hurt or kill people, like, just regularly. We're talking about this weird theater having crab boat fisherman injury percentage. They got sued a lot, and as people who get sued a lot do, decided to go bankrupt and closed. Fun fact, further examination of the bones revealed that they were from those who had died in the theater accidents. Well, that wasn't very fun, but it was a fact. Use every part of the human, that's what I always say. As the puppet bounced around from owner to owner, the bad luck the figure brought did as well. Whoever owns Bonesworth inherits the same bad misfortune that cursed the playhouse. If you have an enemy, you can dig a hole under their house and leave Bonesworth inside to ruin their life. One owner decided to destroy the bone puppet, and then he and his entire family got murdered with no trace of a suspect and were all missing different bones that could theoretically come together to create one complete skeleton- Oh, I get it. I'd like to stop you right there. Did you believe everything that was just said about Bonesworth? If you did, for shame. Bonesworth is actually a good entity that has had his name slandered by an admittedly very well-made video on Clark Tidor's channel. From other sources, Bonesworth is described as quote-unquote a good boy, and he only does harmless pranks such as moving ladders while you're climbing, trapping you in a garage for several days, or messing with your brake cables. Don't worry though, it says that Bonesworth only does this playfully. Apparently, Bonesworth can be summoned through what is called his titular mobile game. RAID SHADOW LEGENDS! Nah, I'm never responding to those emails. According to Trevor, this little man apparently brings insomnia and nausea. So basically, he's just all of my drinking buddies. Or, at least that's what the fandom or wiki or whatever says. Actually, I'm not really sure which one is the misinformation. I think they all might be the misinformation. Um... Eh, take your pick. Who cares? Whenever there's conflicting information, instead of taking both sides and thinking the answer is somewhere in the middle, you should assume that the information you like best is correct, and then blindly and rudely call anyone who disagrees with you wrong, and also an idiot, and should die. Wow, that is some journalistic integrity you got there, eyeball. Just whose side are you on? Look, Boner, sorry, Bonesworth. The only thing I hear when you talk is that you want to eat your front teeth. Can I help you with that? If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled, or I'll steal all your bones and make a neat looking cursed puppet. I want to shout out Biodegradable for fondling this media into an AZFK Cognito hazard. They're a great editor and you should go check out all of their thingies. Shout out the members of the inner circle. Love y'all. Okay, bye.